Well, hey y'all, about this time last year, I released the 1.0 version of my ADHD friendly Notion template called Vision to Action. And when I created it, it was intended for a neurodiverse audience who really needed to get clear on wants, needs, values, and strengths in order to set goals that align to those so that they could move forward with it. And since then, I've sold a lot of those templates and I've gotten a lot of great feedback and it was time for an upgrade. And that is exactly what I'm gonna show you in today's video. So if what you see appeals to you, you can find the link to the template below or just use it for inspiration if you are somebody who uses Notion. Personally, I am obsessed with it and I really think it's a great tool for folks with ADHD because it's so malleable. You can make it into whatever you want it to be and it's a great sense of external support. So on that note, let's get right into the updates. I am so thrilled to share these. I think you're gonna love it. Let's go there. Okay, the first thing that I've added to this template is just a very simple dashboard up at the top so that if you wanted to continue using Notion as your personal productivity system after you've finished the program, then you've got something to start with and it's just some helpful links. But I will show you how I use Notion as my weekly planner and it's included in this template as well. So I won't belabor the dashboard too much, but once you get down here, this is the actual program. So what is the program? It's built in Notion, but what it is is casting a life vision for yourself, discovering your character strengths based on an assessment. It is a well-tested and psychographically accurate assessment of what your natural character strengths are. So you will go off site to do that. You will do a needs analysis in the tool, and then you'll do a values assessment, which is also in the tool. And then you'll bring all of those assessments together and you'll have a dashboard of results. And it's gonna look something like this. All of your assessment results will show up here and they'll look just like this, right? So you'll have like your top five needs, your top five character strengths, and your top five uh, core values. And then once you have that reflection done, then underneath each assessment result, you'll have some reflection questions. So you can dive deeper into the results of all of those assessments. And then there's some takeaway prompts to help you just evaluate what you've learned about yourself overall. So this in and of itself is a very powerful thing to have. It's basically your dashboard of you. So coming back to the front page, once you've gone through all of those assessments, and this video will walk you through how to do those assessments, um, then there is the goal setting piece. So you're gonna set your goals, and then you're gonna plan your goals, and then you're gonna work your plan. This is where the next set of enhancements really come in, because now you've got all this great information about yourself, and you've created some intentional goals that align to who you are and what you want. And then the next step is really having a plan to follow through on it, but then actually coming back to that plan on the regular. And I think that's where a lot of my clients and followers get hung up. We're often very good at creating a plan, but then it just kind of goes to the wayside and we don't follow through on our goals. So what I've added to the template is a very robust planning and execution system so that you can keep coming back here on a daily basis and work in your plan and plan in your work. So this is how it looks. We have a monthly planner here. And in this planner, what I encourage you to do is start every single week with a fresh new plan. And then at the end of the week, you're gonna review the week you just had and you're gonna plan the next week. And then you're also gonna do the same on a monthly basis and on a quarterly basis. And these are just some example templates here, but what it's gonna look like when you get this template, you would click new, this down arrow here, and you would want the weekly review and planning template. So you would click on this, and this is where you're gonna spend your entire week in an ideal world. So you would start by adding the date of the new week. So we would just click um, April 17th here. And then you would also want to expand all these properties. You're not going to need all of these uh, for the beginning of the week, but you will need them at the end of the week. So once we've expanded the properties, we see this here, this week spread of April 17 to 24. And that's what I like to name the document because now it's going to be easier to find in an overall database. So what we've got here then is your one thing for the week. I am revamping template. How you feel, calm, graceful, chill. I usually put three feelings in there. 
And that just sets the tone for your week. All of these other things will be things that you address at the end of the week, like assessing what your successes and challenges were. We always want to click that this is a weekly review, what you loved, what you didn't love, your monthly spending, anything you want to track, you can put in here. And if you don't want to track these particular things, delete them. And then you've got your priority for the week here again. So it's front and center. And then once you've done all of those self-assessments, they all show up right here. You won't see them here because this is a blank template, but assuming this was your template, all of your top 10 core values would show up here, your strengths would show up here, and your needs. So that when you're planning your week, you're being reminded of what's most important to you. And then you have an opportunity to review your goals again. Now, again, this is going to be filled out based on what your goals are. But you'll be able to see it here so that when you start planning your week, you know exactly what you're aiming towards. Now we get down to the to-dos. I have set this up two ways, and you can either use both or just use one. So let me explain. When you are building out your to-do list, you can either do it in a database so that you can track all of your to-dos for today, for this week, for this month. And to-dos that are out in the future, like if you had a wedding to go to in August and you had to book plane tickets and buy a dress and get a present and you had to do all those things before August and you wanted to have specific deadlines for those things, then you would want a system that will allow you to schedule tasks in the future. The database is going to help you do that because let's say you had a task that was like buy flights for wedding. And you would then be able to put the due date in there of when you need to have it purchased by. And then the due date, which is when you want to do it on, and the priority for this, low, medium, high, urgent, let's say medium, time estimates, probably going to take about 30 minutes. And how do I feel about doing it? Meh. So that's why you would want to use a task database. And I want to point something out here in case you're new to Notion. This is actually filtered to just show me today's tasks. And the reason why this is showing up here is because my do it day is today. But if I put this out to make it later in this week, it would immediately go away and I wouldn't see it because the only thing I'm seeing here are my tasks today. If you're somebody who gets very overwhelmed by a big task list, then you want to have a filter like that. Then this option here shows you tasks for the week. This is what I use and I find it super helpful. And it shows not only what the task is and the opportunity for you to click this button when it's done, but it also shows you how long you think it's going to take so that when you're planning your week, you have an estimation of how many things you have to do in a day and how long each thing is going to take. I love this system and that's what I use. I used to use this system here, which is a little bit different, okay? Now, if you don't want to use this system, you can delete it. But essentially, this is just a little bit more simplified. It's not a database. so. On a Sunday, you would come here and let's say you're thinking about the week and it's like, oh, I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. And, you know, on Tuesday, I've got to go grocery shopping. On Wednesday, I've got a meeting doing something else. You see what I mean? This is more of a basic task list. So if this works better for you, if you don't like the idea of using a, a database, then you would use this task list. But if you don't like this, then all you have to do is delete it. Now that is in the template. So every week, when you click on a new template to start a new week, that will show up. If you never want to use that system, then just delete it from the template. The next thing on here are monthly, weekly, and daily non-negotiables. So monthly non-negotiables might look like I have to reconcile my business transactions every month. I have like an accounting process I have to go through. A weekly non-negotiable might be I have to water my plants. And, the, and I would put all of these on here because if I don't get them done, then my plants are going to die. So I like having these non-negotiables called out because they're not really tasks that I want to plan for. They're just things that need to get done. They're also not habits that I'm looking to track. So I just want to have them here as little reminders. But again, if you don't like that, then you can just delete all that. The other thing that I have here is a button. Now, this is a new feature for Notion. If you click on daily non-negotiables, it will just give you a list of things that you need to get done every day that aren't habits. So this might be pick up the kids from school or feed the dog. And if you want to edit these, you would just go in here to the block and you would actually put in whatever your to-dos are, click done, and your to-dos will show up every single day. 
The reason I put this in a, a button format is that it can get kind of tedious to type those out every single day. And again, if you don't want to use this tool, you would just delete it. Now, this is so cool, this next piece, and I can't take credit for it. I found this database in Notion's template library, and it is so good. So I will show you the full database in a second, but I want to show you first how it shows up on your weekly spread. So there's five habits that you can track here. You can add more if you want. Let's say this one's working out. All you would need to do is change this to work out. Maybe the next one is drink water. Maybe the next one is meditate. And then every day when you get them done, you're going to click them off, right? And you would always put what the day is here. So if this is Sunday, the next day it will show up and it'll be blank again. And you would put Monday there. And then you would click the same things over again, right? I'm going to keep a couple of these clicked because I'm going to show you what this looks like in the main database. So once you put Monday in here, Monday's going to show up here as well because this is the same database. But it lets you measure things like anxiety level, depression level your mood level. You can put anything else in here. So if you want to track your weight or your hours of sleep, you can put anything in here, but it will all track back to the main database, which I will show you as soon as we get through all of this. The last portion of the week, uh, as you're wrapping up your week and you're starting to plan the next week, you would just uh, answer these little quick wins. I think this is a really powerful exercise because you can then reframe your week, no matter how it went, in a positive light when you really think through what were all the great things that happened. I've also got this place for intuition. If you're somebody who likes to test your intuition, you can put that there, but again, not required. And then your to-do list, that same database is right here as well. So when you start to think about next week, you can do it in this weekly spread or you could do it in your new weekly spread for the new week. And then you can use this area for journaling. I always do like a little prompt of like how my week was, what happened, what I like, what I didn't like. You could also just use this for notes or do whatever you want to do with it. So that is the weekly spread. And I hope this shows you how it will help you throughout your week get towards the goals that you're setting for yourself. If you start every single day in your weekly spread, then you will not only know what's coming up the whole week and how much time you have allotted for it, but you'll be able to see how your habits are going, how your moods are going, and just get a better sense of how you are tracking towards the goals that are most important to you. So I hope that was helpful. Let me just show you before we wrap up what the health and habit tracker looks like. So here you can see your weekly analytics of how well you're doing things. So habit number one, which we changed to working out, maybe you're tracking 29% consistency. And then you can look at things from a monthly perspective. And then you can look at things from a weekly perspective. So on Monday, I was only 60% uh, compliant. On Tuesday, I was 40%. When you start looking at these things week over week, it's not something to beat yourself up about. It's something to get curious about. Like, huh, it seems like every week I'm only able to do 60% of my daily habits on Mondays. Why is that? What happens on Mondays that makes it too hard for me to do all the things? And do I want to change something about my Monday schedule? Or do I want to accept that it's okay that I only do 60% of my habits on Mondays? You see what I mean? This information can really help you understand how your behaviors are helping you over the long term. And there's various different views that you can see this by. You can also see your mood across those same variables. So if you know you're getting 100% compliance on your habits on Mondays, but your mood is generally quite low, maybe there's something else that's going on here. So I love this little tracker. It is amazing. It's, it's so intuitive. And you can also track your medications, your symptoms, if you like to track those on a regular basis, and again, your moods. So that I thought was a great addition, not my brainchild, but it was something that a lot of you asked for. So that's basically the template in a nutshell. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. And I hope this was good inspiration. Again, I will link the template below if you want to use it. It was designed for ADHDers, but anyone who wants to get more focused on their goals based on what's most important to them is going to benefit from this whole system. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.